Amen. Well, what would you do if you didn't have no money? Amen. 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 What would you do with a man if you had to be at zero body? I mean, I mean, it look good, a man, because you got money. You got money. I mean, you ain't got a good job. Well, what would happen if you didn't have a job? Yes. Yes. Would your faith be strong enough to sustain you? To hold you up if you didn't have no job? If you woke up in the morning and ate man didn't have no money, no job, no nothing to tell you to do, who ate it? If you didn't have, if your faith wasn't already finished, or on the way to being finished, you'd be in a bad shape. Yeah. Amen. 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 So it look like amen when you somebody said, well, you know, amen. See, you don't know what you would do if you didn't have no money. Huh? Amen. 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 You don't know what you would do if you had no job. Amen. You don't know what you'd do if you had no shelter. Amen. No house to live in. Can you say amen? Because you got a house. Amen. amen. And that's why I'm teaching you faith, amen. Praise God. I know what you would do if you have a house and you really believe God. I've been there. Oh, See, I've been there 50 years out here without a job. So you see, you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is why I teach you. I'm not teaching you what I read out of a book. I'm teaching you what I live and what I know. Amen. That can happen. You if you have faith in God. Yeah. If you have enough faith to believe that God can take care of you. But now you go around right here with a loose life, a life that not, amen, you're not trying to improve your life, you're not trying to live a, a better life, you're going to be in a bad shape if something happens to you. Huh? Can you say amen? It looks kind of easy out here, doesn't it? But it, 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 it looks easy because to the point they have given up. So, amen, that you know that the Lord is real. You know what God can do. You know what God will do. Amen. amen. And you surrender to him. But now you can't play church. And expect an amen, supernatural thing to happen in your life. That's why G, amen, falls on the inside every way and look at this Jesus out there. He defends it. Uh, he gave you the faith. That was made new. Gave you faith. And now you want to finish. Now, the only way you can get that faith is to listen to David about the growing in grace and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you got to grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. But if you're not trying to grow, right? You're not trying to hear the word. So your faith is not growing. Your faith is only growing when you hear the word. The Bible says faith comes by hearing, hearing comes by the word. Can you say amen again? So you see faith, amen. I'm going to just praise God. The faith is size and small, but it grows. Amen. So you want to get your faith to grow, don't you? Amen. So when Jesus died, your faith is, I want to just go with Amen. The 13th chapter of the book of Matthew. Amen. 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 13th chapter, praise God, verse 31. Another parable was uh, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened to a, a grain of mustard seed. A grand, one little grain of mustard seed that has the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a grain of mustard seed. That's literally it. Right? Now, a mustard seed is probably the smallest seed in the field. Amen. Like unto a grain of mustard seed. Praise God. Which it, which it made took and sowed in his field. This so it is here, which indeed is the least of all seeds. 
But when it is grown, you see what I'm saying? And must see. Throw it in the field. But when this seed is grown, can you say it, man? It is the greatest among the hood. That small seed is the greatest seed in the field. I you know what I'm saying? And, and become a tree. This little must seed become a tree. Ah, Lord, is that sort of thing about it? Must see even come a tree. So that the birds of the, of the air come and lodge in the breaking of them. This must see, this ground of must see grow until it become a tree. You see how your faith can grow? Your faith grow, amen, grow, amen, praise God, until it Amen. It become a tree, praise God. It become great. Amen. In the uh, 17 chapter. Praise God. And this Simon was trying to cast the devil out. Out of this boy. Couldn't get him out. Amen. Verse 19. Then came the Simon to Jesus' part, saying, why could not we cast them out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Now this is unbelief. First of all, because of your unbelief. But I say unto you, If ye have faith as the ground must see. A little bit of seed done. He shall say unto this mountain, Remove him. Hit to Yom's place, and it shall remove. Let's speak to you like that little faith that you have. Grow the material so now that you can speak to a mountain and tell the mountain to move. Oh my God. Isn't that something to think about? I have a small amount of sea, a small sea. But when it's grown, when it matures, Amen. When everything is out of the way, you know, it's amazing what your life is like with everything out of the way. Yeah. It's amazing what you would be if, if, if you would make a commitment to God and give yourself to the Lord and totally live holy and clean before Him. Yeah. Can you say amen again? Yeah. It's it, it just, uh, amen. I just want to say sometimes we live. But we had never surrendered ourselves to the Lord. Oh if we sometimes if we live in a world that we don't even know the world we live in. Oh we say we serve the God that we don't even know the God that we serve. You can only know this God that you serve him by surrendering to him and saying yes to his will. Can you say amen? When you say yes to God, yes to the will of God, yes to the Lord, amen, then God begin to bless your life. Can you say that again? A lot of times we say, oh yeah, you look like you're great, but then let's, let's go out here to the 25th verse. When he got to tell the that, the nothing should be impossible. How big? This kind goes not out, but by prayer and fasting. So now, you want to do a little more than go to church. You want to do a little more than just, amen, warm that bait you. <laughs> amen. You going to have to have power with the Lord. You're going to have to, amen, do something fasting and praying. See, a lot of y'all ain't believe no going to pray. I mean, let alone pray. So you're going to have to do some fast and pray. If you want God to really bless you, you're going to do one thing in your life that's going to be the most important thing is learn how to pray. Amen. That's why the disciples on one occasion told you, Lord, teach us how to pray. The number one thing, teach us how to pray. Pray is the most important thing in your whole life. Amen. And having faith. Jews have built up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. 
You ought to get filled up by praying in the Holy Ghost. You ought to have power with God. And power of the works of the devil by learning how to do one thing is pray. Yes, Lord. And push your plate back. See? Now you can go along casually, amen, and give you little things done. But if you want some big things done in your life, you go ahead and do the way he said here. Let's go back here. Grant a mother seed. You can send it to the mountain. Be down in the room and be a cat in the seat. Glory to God. Nothing should be impossible. How be it? Now you come on down and how be it? Now you, you, be, you, 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 be, you be like those self sons of Sabbath. Sabbath, the amen, praise God. They thought they could catch that devil in Paul's name. They went there and, kept, and the devil's amen said, You in the And the name of the, the Jesus whom Paul preached. We command you to come out. The old devil came out and leaped on him and stripped him naked. He no. left out of the house wounded and naked, praise God. Oh God. Amen. 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 Because they, man, they, didn't, they only knew they only knew the God that Paul preached. Y'all get that? Right. They didn't know God for themselves. Yeah. They knew the God that Paul talked about. Yeah. Amen. Faith is an experience with God that you know about. Amen. Amen. It's what you know about God. That's what